HTTP is a clear text protocol which means that it's not secure. Anyone between the source and the destination can sniff the traffic and see confidential data. In this lecture, I'll show you how to secure Apache and enable HTTPS to encrypt the communication between the server and the clients using OpenSSL and digital certificates. HTTPS means HTTP over SSL, which is HTTP secure. This setup consists of two parts. Getting a digital certificate from a certificate authority for the server and configuring the Apache web server to use the certificate and encrypt the connections to the clients using OpenSSL and other cryptographic protocols. There are many certificate authorities known as CA that facilitate the obtaining of a digital certificate for your web or email server. In this lab, we'll use Lex Encrypt as a certificate authority because it offers a free certificate for your website. It also simplifies the process by providing a software client called CertBot that attempts to automate most of the required steps. Currently, the entire process of obtaining and installing a certificate is fully automated on both Apache and Nginx. I'm opening a second SSH connection to the server in a new terminal window. Let's get started by installing CertBot and the Python plugin. So apt update, ampersand ampersand, apt install CertBot and Python 3 minus CertBot minus Apache. The later package integrates CertBot with Apache making it possible to obtain a new certificate and to configure HTTPS on the server automatically. Okay, I've misspelled its name, it's CertBot. Once the installation process is finished, I'll run a command to request the certificate authority to issue a certificate for our domain crystalmind.academy. So certbot minus D and the domain. The name of the domain should be the one set up in the Apache virtual host file. The domain specified in this file. This will use the Apache plugin, the entire process of getting the certificate and configuring Apache to use it is fully automatic. The wizard will prompt us to answer a series of questions in order to configure the SSL certificate. First, it will ask us for a valid email address that will be used for the renewal notifications as well. I haven't set up an email server for the domain yet, so I'm writing a random email address webmaster at crystalmind.academy In the next step, we have to agree to Lex Encrypt Terms of Service. Next, we'll be asked if we would like to share the email address with Electronic Frontier Foundation to receive news and other information. and it's generating the certificate and configuring a patch. This is a very important step. We are prompted to select whether or not we want HTTP traffic redirected to HTTPS. In practice, that means when someone visits our website through an unencrypted connection using HTTP, they will be automatically redirected to the HTTPS address of our website. It's a good idea to redirect HTTP to HTTPS because the user will access the website using its HTTP address when he writes the name of the domain in the address bar of the browser. Almost no one writes HTTPS by hand. 
So I'm choosing the second option, redirect. And it's done. If there are any errors, see the logs in slash var log lexencrypt lexencrypt.log. This is the log file. Certbot has requested the certificate, created a new virtual host file for Apache to use HTTPS, loaded the certificate into Apache and reloaded it. It did a lot of work. Let's reload the website using HTTPS. I'm writing HTTPS by hand. So HTTPS, colon, and double for our slashes. And it's working. We see a lock before the domain name in the address bar, which indicates HTTPS. If you want to see the certificate, click on the lock, certificate, and details. And you see here all details about the certificate. Who is the issuer? When was it issued? Its validity? And many more. Now let's access the HTTP version of the website to check that it's redirected correctly to HTTPS. So I'm writing HTTP colon double for slashes and the name of the domain. So I'm not writing HTTPS by hand. And it was redirected to HTTPS. We see the lock. And we notice that even though we've accessed the HTTP version of the website, Apache redirected us to HTTPS. This is HTTPS because we see this padlock. The connection is secure. Let's take a look at what the certbot script has done. So, it has created this virtual host file for the HTTPS domain. This one. Let's see its contents. We see that the port used is 443 and the digital certificate and the private key are found in these files. It has also enabled the open SSL module. The configuration directives are in this file. The script has also enabled the virtual host, which means creating a symlink in uh, Sykes enabled. Look, this is the symlink. At the end of this lecture, let's check if auto renewal is configured correctly. By default, Lex Encrypt certificates are only valid for 90 days. This is to ensure that misused certificates or stolen keys will expire at some point. The certbot tool we've just run takes care of the renewal process by including a service that runs twice a day and renews any certificates that expire. To check the status of this service and make sure it's active and running, run systemctl status certbot.timer and it's active. And to test the renewal process, run certbot renew minus minus dry minus run. It's only testing the renewal process. And all renewals succeeded. Okay, that's all. In this lecture, we've seen how to get a digital certificate from Lex Encrypt enable OpenSSL on Apache and configure HTTPS to encrypt the connections between the clients and the server.